This demonstration will guide you through the setup and deployment process for ANSYS Cloud. This video focuses on the actions that need to be taken by the cloud administrator to activate and distribute access to end users. Before we get started, there are a few requirements for a successful installation. First, this guide is intended for administrators. You must be the designated ANSYS Support Coordinator, or ASC, in order to proceed. If you intend to be the administrator, but are not currently an ASC, your company will need to submit a request to add you. ANSYS Cloud Services may require changes to your network security settings before they can run. Contact your IT administrator for assistance. Documentation for configuring a firewall and or proxy server can be found in the ANSYS Cloud Forum. In articles titled Firewall Configuration Information and How to Configure ANSYS Cloud with a Proxy Server. It's important to note that the administrator is not automatically designated as a user. A subscription will still need to be assigned if they plan to use ANSYS Cloud. Now, let's take a quick look at what's involved. There are three separate portals you will utilize as an administrator. Number one, the ANSYS licensing portal. This is where you will track usage of ANSYS Cloud resources, such as Elastic Credits. A six-digit PIN for the Cloud License Server is generated automatically, but if you wish to change it, you can do so here. Only the designated ANSYS Support Coordinator will have the required access. Additional access must be requested through ANSYS. Number two, the ANSYS Account Portal. Access to ANSYS Cloud is granted by assigning subscription licenses to individual users. Here, you can invite new users and assign cloud subscriptions. The principal admin can assign administrator privileges to additional users. Number three, the ANSYS Cloud Portal. The ANSYS Cloud application for users is located here. This is where you can launch and monitor jobs running in the cloud. Installing the ANSYS Cloud application is the final step of the process. In order to access the various ANSYS portals, you will have to register as a user. You should receive an automated welcome email. The link in the email will prompt you for your email address. You will then be sent a verification code. You may need to enter additional information to complete the registration. The phone number you provide will be used for multi-factor authentication via text message or a phone call. Once you complete the verification process, you will receive a second email informing you that subscriptions are available for assignment. Set this aside for now. We'll assign subscriptions later in the setup process. If you did not receive one or more of these emails, check your junk mail folder. Now that you've completed the registration, we're ready to begin setting up ANSYS Cloud. You should receive an email from ANSYS describing the cloud resources your company has purchased. Before we go to the account portal to add users, let's take a quick look at the licensing portal. Log in using your email and password. Here, you're able to track usage and manage the cloud license server credentials. Click Access Credentials. A randomized PIN for the cloud license server is now generated automatically. If you wish to change it, you can do so here, but it's not required. The next step is the account portal. Upon logging in, you may notice that the My Subscriptions section is empty. This is normal. Click Administration. Under Company Subscriptions, you should see a tally of all available subscriptions. Below that, you'll find the Users section. At first, you will be the only user listed here. Administrators are not automatically assigned a subscription. You will need to assign one to yourself if you plan to use ANSYS Cloud. Click the checkbox next to your name, then click Assign. Choose the appropriate subscription in the next menu and click Assign. To distribute subscriptions to additional users, click Add User. There are two methods for inviting users, individually or from a list. For a single user, enter their email address, select the subscription to assign, and click Add. To invite multiple users, select a CSV file listing the user email addresses in a single column. Select the type of subscription to assign and click Add. Users will receive an email notifying them that a subscription has been assigned. It will also need to register in order to access ANSYS Cloud. There are two more sections below the users list. 
The Invitations section allows you to monitor the status of pending invitations. There are options to remove or resend invitations. You can add or remove administrators from the Admin Users section. This is useful if you want other users to be able to manage subscriptions. With the subscriptions assigned, we're ready to install the ANSYS Cloud application. Log into the Cloud Portal and click Downloads. Select one of the two installers. The Windows installation is typically recommended. The zipped installation can be used if you do not have sufficient permissions on the PC to use the Windows installer. To check that the Cloud application was installed successfully, run the provided Check Cloud Installation Utility. This will run various tests to confirm that the main aspects of the Cloud app are working correctly. A summary report is automatically saved. Other functions, such as the ANSYS Virtual Desktop Interface, may require additional steps to configure. Make sure to contact your IT administrator for assistance. You're now ready to begin using ANSYS Cloud. You can monitor usage from within the Cloud Portal. Additional documentation can be found in the ANSYS Cloud Forum. This concludes the ANSYS Cloud Installation Guide for Administrators.